What's up, Creed? JJ here. I uh, just got this box of uh, Trinidad Reyes. We're going to go over. It's uh, brand new. Um, S-L-E-E-N-E, -E -E, which is uh, Nero uh, for uh, January uh, 2017. It is a natural uh, varnish box. Uh, this one, it could, they come in uh, 24 and 12. This one is a 12. They also come in boxes of 5 in cardboard boxes. Um, <clears throat> it is named after the 16th century city of uh, La Santissimo, La Santissima, sorry, uh, in Trinidad. Stands for Holy Trinity. The... Uh, the tobacco itself is from the Vuelta Abajo region. It's a four and four and three eighths of an inch by 110 millimeters. Uh, it has a gauge of 40. The uh, <clears throat> the flavor profile of these is medium. So again, going over the label, check it out. Everything's good. Tab of the Cuba's there. Our uh, Habanos DOP label, good. Okay. Again, go over the box, front, back, side. Now, one thing we didn't cover yet, and we will, under the uh, latch here, it should say Schmel Germany, which it does. Okay. Just another thing to look out for. what it looks like anyway when we open it up we've got a nice Trinidad sticker on in, on the inside it is centered edges are nice it is embossed okay so we'll have a look at that <clears throat> standard Habanos essay parchment it is there up to date now this parchment here is uh, something Trinidad did um, and does it's a lot thicker like this one doesn't even stand up on its own you know <laughs> this sucker it's a good quality anyway it does have the uh, let's see if you can get that city there okay it does have a picture of it and your 12 reyes. They are uh, beautifully rolled pigtail cap. Okay. Um, they are a pro, uh, post revolutionary brand, um, 1969, and didn't commercially launch uh, until 1997. Anyway, uh, the bands on these are standard from 2003 to present. Okay. These are Petite Corona, one of the six Vitolas in the lineup. Pop them out. Beautiful. Neat little cap on them. They are beautiful. They have, feel the oil on them. They're nice. Even though they're only made a few months ago. They're incredible. The smell of them is amazing. Good bunching. I uh, I like these, the Petit Coronas and that. Um, they're great when I go on the walks with the dog. Stuff like that. Or if I want to just get a quick one in. Um, they're a perfect amount of time and... Uh, a lot of times they have a good kick to them. Give you what you need, you know. And that's the other six. Anyway. Uh, just wanted to go over that with you. Share it. Um, <clears throat> we're not always going to be doing unboxing. Um, you know, they're, they're going to basically fill the void we will be doing cigar reviews 
very shortly. Uh, <laughs> half the time is finding the time. Anyway, um, for those of you who are going abroad and uh, vacationing and even ordering online from overseas and whatnot, you know, I, I just want you guys to have an idea of what you're what to look for. Okay. Like I said, especially my friends in the in the States, they uh they need to know what they're looking at, you know. Cuba itself has the uh largest selection of counterfeit cigars and the uh US at a close second, so I just want to make sure you're getting what you're paying for. And I want to make sure you know what to look for. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, it's people have been duped. I've had people bring me back cigars and I, I didn't have the heart to tell them, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got, uh, I'm glad you got a good deal, but you didn't, you know. And uh, I do still have a couple of those. And I think in the future we'll slice them open and uh, have a look what's inside. Anyway, again, uh, another unboxing, JJ Cigar Creed, okay, don't forget to click that like button, thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.